Let's write the name for Cl2. So on the periodic table, we find chlorine right here. It's a nonmetal. So we have two nonmetals together. This is a molecular compound, and that means that electrons, they're shared between these two chlorine atoms that are bonded together. When we see Cl2 in a chemical equation, just by itself, not bonded to anything, we call that chlorine gas. That's because Cl2 most commonly is a gas. You have to get it fairly cold to make it a liquid. So Cl2, we call that chlorine gas. And you'll see this quite often in chemistry and word equations and so on. There are two other names that are sometimes used for Cl2. The first is diatomic chlorine, which kind of makes sense. Cl2, there are two chlorines, so diatomic chlorine. The other is molecular chlorine. We have these two chlorine atoms bonded together, and that makes a chlorine molecule. So sometimes it's also called molecular chlorine. But most commonly, Cl2, the name for Cl2 is chlorine gas. There are seven diatomic gases that you really should be aware of. They come up quite often in chemistry. They're listed right here. This is Dr. B with the chemical name for Cl2, chlorine gas, and sometimes called molecular chlorine and diatomic chlorine. Thanks for watching.